Welcome in this session. We are going to talk about some of the basics and uh, what are the different options to backup PostgreSQL cluster. We are assuming that uh, our cluster is running on a virtual machine and it's not in the cloud. In the cloud, when you have it, is it has a managed instance. There are other ways uh, which are called as the automated way of taking the backup wherein you do not have any sort of uh, interference you just mentioned the number of days which is required to backup and it is going to do everything for you what we have over here is we have a postgresql cluster of versions uh, maybe you can uh, think about the version which is running from 11 to 16 the 16 is the latest one which has been released in september 2023 There are two ways to backup the PostgreSQL cluster. One is the physical way, and another is the logical way to uh, backup the PostgreSQL cluster. In case on a cluster, you have a many database, and in, you want it to take a backup of a specific database, not the entire cluster, and you do not have the requirement for point in time recovery. Just there is a database whose name is demo and you wanted to take its backup. What you are going to do, there is a inbuilt utility, which is a native tool in PostgreSQL cluster, which is called as PG dump. And this is one of the most common and straightforward method to backup the PostgreSQL database, which we call it as PG dump. And this is a command line utility and this is going to create a logical backup for the database and it is going to write the statement in in terms of the human readable format. So when you take a backup of a particular database using pg underscore dump hyphen u, that is a username. Normally we use the Postgre uh, role to take the backup. Hyphen d mention the database name. Let's say on the cluster I have many database and I just wanted to take a backup of example database. You will just write example hyphen f write the location where you wanted to uh, write the dump file let's say in slash tmp uh, and then uh, example underscore file dot sql depending upon the uh, amount of the data which is present in that particular uh, database it is going to take the time since it is a text format larger the size larger it is going to take the time so it depends if you have a very small database, you just put it in the uh, textual format, in the text format. If it is a large database, you are not supposed to use this because this is going to take considerable time. So when you take the backup, you have the backup file available as backup underscore file dot SQL. And when you have to restore it, you just use uh, the command PSQL and redirect uh, uh, the uh, output file which you have created earlier in in a database and then it is going to be restored this is one of the most convenient easy to use and this is largely used when you try to migrate your database from on-premises to the cloud especially uh, let's say if you have the uh, AWS account and you wanted to test it the scenarios you can do it using this way there is another uh, logical way of backing up the database. If you want to back up all the database which are running on a cluster, let's say if I have a cluster which is running on PostgreSQL 16 and uh, we do most of the demos on Ubuntu 22.04 nowadays. And in case you wanted to back up all the databases in one shot along with the roles, uh, the permissions and everything, then you can use pg underscore dump all utility. It is going to create the backup of all the database along with all the, the components which are inside, uh, which are available inside that particular cluster. So you just mentioned pg underscore dump all. In case you are on the same server, you just mention hyphen f the location of the file and it is going to create. So what this is going to do is this is going to create a file which is called as backup underscore file dot sql which is going to create which is having the sql statement to recreate the entire uh, database in case uh, you wanted to do the point in time recovery and this is uh, uh, one of uh, or the inbuilt utility which is available in postgresql cluster to take the physical backup so you can use pg underscore base backup 
this is going to create a binary backup of the entire PostgreSQL cluster, including all the data files, wall logs, and you can use uh, the way pg underscore base backup. I'm assuming I'm running on the same server, so hyphen u, let's say I say uh, Postgre uh, operating uh, Postgre role hyphen d, the location where I wanted to write the details. So there are different options uh, or switches which can be used along with this pg base backup is highly used when uh, you wanted to take a logical backup or when you are setting up the high availability so we have a course on rap mgr mastering uh, uh, high availability with the rap mgr so you can go through this and we have in detail uh, the rap mgr tool and you can uh, utilize that this is the most important part wherein we are just mentioning what are the different third party backup tools. We are not talking about the inbuilt native tool, which is pg underscore dump. We are not talking about pg underscore dump all, which is a logical way of taking the backup of the entire cluster. What we are talking about is pg underscore base backup. These uh, third party tools, which are barman, pg backrest, and pg underscore pro backup they used to take the backup of your PostgreSQL cluster in a physical way. It takes the binary backup and it, that can be restored on to a new server or, or the same server, considering that you have the uh, same PostgreSQL uh, major version. And this is used for point in time recovery. Barman is very, very famous and this is for the large enterprise scale uh, environment wherein you have uh, uh, one uh, PostgreSQL cluster, or uh, uh, let's say if you have uh, many PostgreSQL cluster, you want to take the backup, you can use Barman. If there are few only, you can use PG Backrest. So we have the course coming up on the Barman. So it's in the preview stage. So those who are getting 101 uh, training, they are already able to access it. PG Backrest is the another case wherein you have a very small environment. You do not have the expertise to set up the environment. This is easy to set up so we have uh, this as also available and this is something which is coming up so we are going to release the demo on pg underscore pro backup so all this third party tool they are very very useful and they are highly recommended when you are going to use uh, something called as point in time recovery you do not have the option to lose the data and that's all about it in case you wanted to go through some of the courses which are already available so you can log into courses.emultiskills.com in case you wanted to contact just uh, drop an email at contact at emultiskills.com and uh, over the website or the portal which i have mentioned you can go for the self-learning courses on postgresql we have few courses on postgresql and other open source databases. We provide uh, paid support on the hourly basis, uh, one-on-one training and corporate training. So I hope this understanding of the different tools, we are going to launch more details uh, in uh, coming session. I hope this is going to help and uh, thank you.